Uh, my name is Father Fran Hiesel. I'm a guest editor at America Magazine. And uh, this is a presentation as part of a series on uh, Easter symbols. Can you see it? Of course not. It's only a small rush of air, a breath. But we do it all the time, thousands of times a day. In fact, when we stop doing it, we die. Breathing, we call it. Our system requires that we do it all the time to sustain our life. Breathing, air, a rush of air. It comes in many forms, gentle and strong. There's a cooling breeze of a hot day that refreshes. There's the bone-chilling gust in winter that sweeps us off our feet. The hurricane that with violent force destroys homes and uproots trees. The wind, that unseen force that is felt rather than seen. It fills sails and propels ships across the sea and turns the blades of windmills. It's a source of power used long before we learn to harness the energy of the sun. The rush of wind and a gentle breath. Is it any wonder that the air should be a symbol of the Easter mystery? The breath of life is creative in the Genesis account. The Lord blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man received the gift of life. The wind, this time a mighty gust, rocks the cynical on Pentecost. And the followers of Jesus again receive the gift of life, his life. The spirit of Christ is given. The spirit that sustains a new life in us, that refreshes us, that propels us forward, sometimes overpowers us with a mighty force that all but knocks us off our feet. The spirit, symbolized by a rush of air, bearer of the living Christ, who enlivens us, refreshes us, and at times even changes the landscape. The wind, the spirit, unseen, but a very real force in our lives. Thank you. Happy Easter to all of you.